Okay, guys, welcome back. Microbiology mechanism mechanism of penicillin. mechanism of penicillin. This is not pharmacology of penicillin. Just wanted to explain how the penicillin acts and the reason for doing that is that I just finished the last two lectures in which we talked about the cell wall structure and the mechanism is very pertinent to that structure discussion. So, you can actually combine these two and understand it. So, let us talk about gram positive and gram negative. What I am going to do is I am going to draw gram positive here the cell wall and gram negative cell wall here. Then we will put penicillin on it and see what happens to these bacteria. So, now let us say this is the you know that the that the peptidoglycan layer. So, if I can go here and make the cell wall for a reference for cell, bacterial cell membranes. So, this is the plasma membrane bilayer lipid bilayer right. This is the internal most membrane. Outside this in the gram negative 3 layers of peptidoglycans in gram positive up to 60 layers of peptidoglycans. And the peptidoglycans are supposed to have been um, cross linked with each other through their peptides. So, this is peptidoglycan. So, it has a glycan part which are sugars and then it has peptide part which are peptido. So, the peptide parts are cross linked. So, we are going to talk about how that cross linking occurs and how penicillin works. Penicillin's function is to remove or to block these cross links and by that disrupt the peptidoglycan layer, peptidoglycan layer and ultimately cause bacteria to break. Now, on the gram negative side you have, so let us just make it this way. This is positive side, this is gram negative bacteria. On a gram negative, on a gram positive bacteria, lots of more peptidoglycan layers. On the gram negative bacteria, this is the periplasmic space and above that is the another lipid bilayer with lipopolysaccharides. LPS. This is the gram negative side. This is gram positive side and again the. So, first let us understand what these cross cross linkages are. Then let us see how penicillin blocks them. We would also see why in gram negative penicillin is not as effective as it is on the gram positive. So, let us see that. So, let us say we make the peptidoglycan layer over here. To make that what we will do is peptidoglycan layer is made up of glycans which are sugars and these sugars are alternating between NAM, N acetyl muramic acid and NAG. NAG N acetyl glucosamine. N acetyl N acetyl muramic acid and N acetyl glucosamine. These are the alternating sugars that make a backbone. And there are many such backbones, there are many such threads of sugars. So, let me make one more here. So, again what do we got here N A G N A M N A G 
n a m these alternate that is the rule. So, now what happens is with every n a m there are tetra peptides attached four amino acids are attached. The fourth amino acid this amino acid is always this amino acid the fourth amino acid is always D alanine and remember D, D is normally a synthetic structure it is not usually seen in organic substances. Organic substances normally are levo, but this is one place where you would see D alanine or dextrose. Now, let me make the same structure here. So, this is the structure and this is the structure. So, these are two threads and they have two protein structures attached with them. Now, what happens is there is an enzyme called transpeptidase, transpeptidase enzyme transpeptidase enzyme what it does is it picks up two protein chains that are side by side and creates a cross link between the fourth amino acid and the third amino acid. So, if I make them here 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is let us say NAG, this is NAM this is another NAM, what it would do is it would take the fourth amino acid and connect it to the third. This function is done by the transpeptidase enzyme. There are two types of cross linkages you would see. In E. coli for example, the linkage will be that NAM, NAG, NAM, when they combine with the other, so let us make another NAM, I am making it slightly moved. So, we will be back in one quick second. Okay, so, we were talking about this that in E. coli for example, the fourth and third, the third is lysine or glu uh, glucosamine, um, sorry, lysine or something I forgot. And this one is alanine. What happens is the cross linking uses 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 glycines to connect them. These are glycines, glycines. So, in case of some bacteria, the cross linking itself. So, if I make them here again NAM, NAG, NAM 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, the cross linking of 4 to the third uses glycine to do that. This is glycine. So, this happens in some cases and in the other cases these two directly combine. So, that is how the structure is and how would they directly combine check this out here. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 and you connect them right. So, that is how they combine in case of some bacteria and this is another way of combining in case of other bacteria. But this combination this cross linking is done by the transpeptidase, transpeptidase. What does penicillin does? What penicillin do is that it comes to the transpeptidase. So, let us say this is the transpeptidase it comes and it binds in it this is penicillin when it binds inside the transpeptidase, transpeptidase cannot bind with these things and cross link them. That is when the peptidoglycan layer starts becoming disrupted and bacteria breaks up. 
why does it break up because the osmotic pressure inside the bacteria is more than outside. Now why does this not happen to the gram negative bacteria because penicillin cannot penetrate through this outer wall. Outer wall has porines, outer wall has porines which allow the substances to go in, but the porine has specific channel size and structures. So penicillins cannot easily go to the peptidoglycans and do this action. That is why gram negative bacteria are usually not prone to penicillin, but gram positive bacteria are. Now how does vancomycin work? What vancomycin does is it does the same thing, it also breaks the peptidoglycan layer, but instead of disrupting the pep transpeptidase what vancomycin does is it is very clever, it goes and attaches to the D alanine this is vancomycin, vancomycin. So once it attaches to the D alanine now the transpeptidase has to come here and connect these two but because this site is already occupied transpeptidase cannot do its function and that is how the cross linking would not occur and peptidoglycan layer would stay weak and that is again that is a mechanism of action for vancomycin. Both of those are very interesting I really love the, the this mechanism. Although bacteria have evolved their transpeptidases to not allow the, the uh, penicillin to bind. For example, they have made their transpeptidase look like this and this is just a theoretical diagram. So now the penicillin cannot go in but they can still function. However, vancomycin is immune from any evolution of the transpeptidase because vancomycin does not interact with the transpeptidase, it actually just connects with the fourth peptide amino acid on the cell wall, on the peptidoglycan cell wall. So this is it for the mechanism of action of penicillin.